Hello everyone, how's it going? It's Corey here from Lakeside Aquascaping, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make microworm culture. And microworms are a terrific live food source that you can feed to babies. So these fry up here that are a few days old, they'll love the microworms. It's not a very good food source for large fish. It's best for egg layers. Live bears can pretty well eat other foods right away, but uh, egg layers need something like that. That's super tiny and super nutritious. So what I've got here is some rolled oats. This is just like no name brand rolled oats, literally, and water. I'm just going to add some of the oats in, spread it out along the bottom. Now I'm just going to slowly add some water until everything in here is a little bit damp. But you want to give it time to soak in guys because you don't want to make this too wet. You don't want to have any, any wet packs or wet spots. So this will do good, this will soak up quite a bit of that moisture that's already down there. It might even be a little bit too dry, but I'm going to leave it there for now because you can always add more water afterwards, but it's a lot tougher to add the oats. Then you take a microworm culture that's already established and going. So this one here, you guys can see inside here, the surface of that is all moving little critters. So this is actually a really old microworm culture that I have going in here. Um, I didn't even make this one and it was my first culture. Okay, so that's definitely too dry, so I will add a bit more water right there. And then you basically just take a little smear like this and you just put that on. I'm going to get another one just to really help get the colony going. So that's just got microworms on it from another culture that I have. You can't make microworms yourself, guys. You do have to find somebody who has a culture that you can get some microworms from. Uh, and then to feed, so this isn't very ready yet. There will be a lot more on the sides. I'll show you guys in another part of that, or another part later but right here I'll show you guys I got a bit of it on my finger so you can see that kind of white stuff that's the microworms and then I'll just drop it in right here where those fry were and hopefully they'll come back and find them and have a little snack so there is some fry up there that are already moving in and hopefully the other fry will figure it out So the CPDs are getting more used to me. But anyways guys, that's basically it for the microworm culture. And then to feed them, all that you do to keep your microworms alive, you take yeast, just plain old yeast, take a good pinch, just toss it in top. So just like that, that's food for the microworms. And if your culture looks a little bit dry, just get a bit of water. I even just add like a couple drops of water a day type thing just to keep it a little bit moist. So that culture really stinks because it's super duper old. This culture is not that stinky yet because it's, you know, still in the process of being made. But they do all get very, very stinky. However, it's such a good live food source to just have on hand for fry and you can feed it every single day so every single day this will give me food i like to have a couple cultures going at once that way in case one dies uh, i always have a backup but if you see it <coughs> oh sorry i'm choking on it oh it's gross uh, so if you see them uh that it's drying out you can always add a bit more liquid it is very difficult to add more oats always better to add more liquid till you have the right amount than it is to add too much water and then add more liquid. So I'm going to put the lid on that so it'll stop making me almost throw up. 
Actually, it's the other one that did that, but still. Anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. Again, if you guys haven't liked and subscribed already, you should go ahead and do so. Uh, there's going to be a lot of content coming your way. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy what I'm, what I'm doing here. See you later.